Okay, hey guys, we are done. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, I've edited out some bits and pieces. I don't want the video to be, you know, five million minutes long. Uh, I did make a little small junk journal. I am going to speed forward or have for you sped forward through most of the process, um, at least as far as decorating the pages are concerned. I'm going to do a flip right now here. Here's the front cover. And I did use these, you know, like I'm sure the rest of you, I have these Tim Holtz Ideology file tabs. I, I don't know how long they've been here in my studio, a long time. Um, but I used some of these on the journal. I also, <clears throat> like a lot of you I'm sure, have, you know, a pretty decent sized collection of stickers, although I have purged a f quite a bit of it over the years. Um, I still have a lot. Some of them are from the old scrapbooking days. I have a lot of word stickers. I like words. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know this. And um, I thought, you know, this is a perfect example. Let me zoom in just a little bit. There we go. This is a perfect example or time uh, looking at the bits and pieces that Mike sent me to maybe use some of the, those word stickers and phrase stickers up along with other bits and pieces to create a sort of a little mini junk journal, a little art piece dedicated to the idea of love, loving yourself, loving what you do, um, a no, sort of a non-traditional uh, Valentine's Day thing, right? Um, of course, we love our families, we love our spouses and partners, but what about yourself? Um, so that's what I decided to do with this, the bits and pieces he sent me and with this journal. So again, here's the front cover. And when I was looking for my phrases, of course, I was looking for things that were love themed um, and love yourself themed. I used um, an old book page for the outside cover, used the bits and pieces of it on the inside, some stickers of my own artwork, painty papers, um, some of the tissue that Mike sent with some paint stenciled on it. Um, heart stickers I have had for, you know, again, a million years, more phrases, little bits of that red paper he sent, which were fabulous, and the washi tape. And some old book paper that I had stenciled on. I used the book paper he sent um, for the inside front, uh, front and back cover. More painty papers. Some of this painty paper is from Happy Mail, and I've had it for eons. The card that he sent with a uh, word on it, the Ace of Hearts. I made it into a little tag. More book paper. Um, and this is just a piece of paper that I wiped off brushes and stuff on. Uh, anything can be used. Um, and it doesn't have to be, you know, uh, Rembrandt. It doesn't have to be, uh, there's no painting or not much sketching other than doodling in here, um, if you see. There's no faces. It's not. This is not hard. This is just the you know basic joys of you know mixed media. Just getting together and creating an interesting page with the bits and pieces that you have laying around. Now I chose to use a glue stick for a lot of the gluing, um, and I've missed a few spots. Um, I'll catch them. It's all right um, because it's a dry glue and it'll dry pretty quickly. And I didn't want to take too long on the drying. Um, time. This is a little scrap piece of paper that I did some kind of watercolor experiment on. And again, all these phrases, I had all of these, more of the paper that Mike sent. Here's the little heart that he sent, which I stamped the stamp he sent me on some tissue and then collaged it on the heart and then made that into a little something that could be tucked in there. I really like the way this turned out and um, was really inspired by not only Mike Deacon's things that Mike's the things Mike sent me, but also uh, my dear friend Cindy Utter, who does a lot of journals like this, where she's just taking her bits and pieces and scraps and parts and creating little journals with them without doing a lot of thinking, just having fun, making the layers. And um, the only thing I really did was try to keep it love themed. Um, Here's another little, this is actually a coloring postcard that I got at Creativation that I cut up and made into a tag here. And it happened to be Valentine's Day themed already. 
So this was a lot of fun to do. I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do with those bits and pieces and parts that maybe you're getting for Valentine's Day and um, or have picked up for Valentine's Day. Um, you can, of course, make the traditional tags and cards for other people, but what about making something for yourself, right? All right, that's it for today. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and go over and watch Mike's video. I'm gonna link it in the description below. Um, support my channel if you could by shopping over at my Etsy shop. The link for that's also in the description below. And the most important thing, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.